hey guys welcome today we'll be talking about how to train a yellow v9 model on custom data set yellow v9 was released on 21st february 2024 and you can see this is the official github repo if you go down you can see we have the comparison graph between yellow v9 and all other models you can see we have yellow v8 v7 v5 v6 and then if you go down we have the performance matrix of different different yellow bean models on ms coco data set you can see here and then we have some we have some links to wonderful works done by different different users uh, by using yellow v9 so i would suggest go through these links and explore your uh, your capacity or explore your ideas regarding yellow v9 and then we have some information regarding how to use docker how to do evaluation how to do uh, training and all those things so have a look have a look at this github repo if you want to download the research paper you can find the research paper here so go to this link and you can download from here so for our project we'll be using this data set and i have created this data set uh, from the data available at this link so you can see here that this data set contains aerial images of Spanish roundabouts taken from an UAV and all these annotation files they are in Pascal format so what I have done is that I have taken images and annotation files from this data set then I have converted the Pascal format into yellow format in our data set we have five number of classes as you can see here we have car cycle bus truck and fan and these are their IDs. That means if our model is predicting zero as the ID, it is identifying the object as car. Similarly, if it is giving three, that means the object is truck. And you can download the data from here. Or if you want to create your own data set, I have created a uh, tutorial on how to annotate or how to create data set for your low by using your own images. So download the data from this link and then go to your google drive create a folder that is yellow v9 and within that create a folder that is data and upload all the images with the annotation files here you can see after that create all these folders create output test training backup and videos so within test uh, we have some images for testing and then within videos uh, we have two videos on which will be performing inferencing after training the model now this is the dataset.yaml file it contains information regarding classes and the directory where we have training and validation images don't worry about this file will be will be having a look at this file in a detailed manner now let's start with the project so here i have given the links to github repo research paper data set and annotation files you can see here now here we are installing all the required libraries you can see uh, it will okay i'm still here okay let's run this again so it is running now and uh, yeah, all the requirements are satisfied now. After that, this is a brief introduction on yellow v9. Like uh, you can get all this information from GitHub repo. After that here, uh, we're connecting with our Google Drive. Okay, so Google Drive is mounted here and you can see we have this Google Drive access here. After that here, we're mentioning part to our training images and validation images. I have created this function what it will do it will create the data set or dml file it will create this file and this function it will take the data from this data folder and it will split the data into training and validation so here we are taking 20 percent for validation and 80 percent for training you can change this value according to your requirement and here we are running the code the process has started you can see it is taking the images and it is uh, let's refresh this you can see so the directory is content yellow data and train images you can see content 
content this is yellow data within that we have images and within that we have all the training images similarly within this we have all the annotation files Now you can see we have a total number of 976 images out of which we have 781 images for training and 195 for validation and after that you can see the dataset.yml file uh, was created uh, successfully you can see this is the dataset.yml file you can see here we have part to training images you can see we have part to validation images then number of class is 5 and then we have car cycle bus truck and van we have the order similar to what we have in our data set the car cycle bus truck and van so this is the content of data set.yml file after that here we are cloning the uh, yellow v9 github repo guys i'm not going to run all these commands because uh, these commands they take too much time to run so let's proceed with the code now here we are cloning the github repo of yellow v9 and then we are installing all the requirements for yellow v9 you can see here and after that here we are downloading the pretend ways that are available at the github repo and then here we are using the training command you can see we have a uh, batch age of 8 we have epoch that is 50 image size 640 we have the link to our dataset.yml file here we are using the pretend words you can see we have downloaded the words uh, using this command and then here this is the configuration file and this is the hyperparameter file if you want to change or if you want to uh, create your own hyperparameter file uh, you can copy the file you can see like this file is available within this folder and if you go here you have this hyperparameter file you can copy the file you can you can change the parameters uh, according to your requirement and you can give the link to that file here and then here we have project directory and this is the name so basically we have created this training backup folder on our drive remember this is the folder and within that uh, it, it will create another folder that is hdx because we have mentioned the name as SEDX for this run it will create the folder within this training backup folder this is SEDX and within that all the files that will be generated during training will be saved now here we have taken patience that is 10 that means the model will will monitor the last 10 epochs and if there is no sufficient improvement on the model training it will stop the training then we have save period that is 5 that means all the words will be saved in an interval of 5 epochs if you open the word folder you can see 0 5 10 so interval is 5 and if you want to know what these parameters are uh, during training you can go to this this training file you can open the training file here and you can go down you will be having information here you can find you can find information regarding all these parameters that we can use during training now when you run the code you will get information like this during training and we have taken epochs that 50 number of epochs you can see here now this is the information after uh, after ending the training you can see stopping training early as no improvement observed in last 10 epochs so this is this is because we have uh, we have set uh, we have set patience that is 10 and here after that base results observe at the epoch 38 
and base model saved at bates.pt so here we have our base model and this is uh, this was created at epoch 38 you can see and after that it has uh, it has performed validation and you have a summary of all the scores during validation you can see the precision and recall maps 50 maps 50 and 95 you can see for all these classes and after that all the results you can see all the results saved to uh, save to this location just like we have discussed now let's talk about inferencing with our trend model to do inferencing on images you can run this command so here we are giving directory to our best weight and then here this is the path to our train images remember we have uh, we have some images within this test folder and then here we have taken confidence threshold that is 0.45 and IO threshold that is 0.25 and this is the project that means the output will be saved within this folder and and uh, within that folder it will create another folder that is images similar to what we have seen in training code and within that folder all the all the output after inferencing will be saved so if you go uh, go to that location that is output and within that we have images see the name is images and within that we have all the output and this is the inferencing by using our model after 50 epochs Now if you want to do uh, inferencing on video, similarly you have to just uh, uh, give the path to the videos. So this is the folder and we have two videos for testing and when you run the command uh, all those videos will be saved within that output folder and within that we have our result. Okay, now we have seen how to train our model, how to do inferencing on images and how to do inferencing on videos. Now let's talk about how to export the model as TRT, the TensorRT format. To do that, we are using this command and here we are giving the directory to our dataset.yaml file and then we are giving the directory to our weight that we want to convert into TRT format. And here we are using the last weight, last.pt weight. And then we are using uh, image size that is 640, batch size that is 8. And here we are using dynamic include engine. Engine means .pt is the extension for uh, that describe that we have the weight in bytes format. And .engine the extension for TIT format, the tensorati format. So if you want to know about all these parameter go to the export.py file and here we have go to the export.py file and we have the file here Just, yeah you can use all these parameters during the export process for now we are using only these parameters and if you run this it will install uh, everything that are required for this conversion process and after that it will convert the model into trt now go back to our weight file so this is we'll turning back up and within that we have weight file and here this is the trt format this is the onyx format and this is the pytest format after that if you want to do inferencing using trt weights you can give the path to trt weight and run this command and you can see after running this we are saving the images within this folder so go here turning back of output within that we have this folder and this is the output using trt format so 
So guys, we have learned how to create uh, training data, how to create evaluation data, the dataset.yaml file, how to uh, how to train the model, how to do inferencing on videos and images, and then how to export the model as a TRT format, and then how to use that uh, the TRT format, the TRT model for inferencing. I hope this was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.